afternoon, I decided to do a very short video to explain the, the crock pot system that I use when I uh, melt my oils and when I prep everything to, to make soap. So I just wanted to show and explain what it is that I do with the lids so people understand a little bit better. So I hope this short little video will help and give you a better understanding of the crock pot system that I use. All right. So what I do, I start out with three crock pots and each of those crock pots use the same recipe for the soap that I'm gonna make. I just triple my recipe. So what I do, one crock pot will always be without the lid. So I remove the lid off one crock pot and that crock pot will be the crock pot that I'm actually working with at the moment. So let me get started. So I have measured my oil right here. So I just put it in my crock pot. And I have my recipe uh, written down and each recipe is sitting in front of the crock pot. So I will take, once I have poured my ingredient, which this one is raspberry oil, I just take the lid from the crock pot adjacent to it. And what I will do, I'm just gonna measure that same oil, which is rice bran. So I just measure my ingredient and just pour it. And I will do this up until I've used up all the ingredients in the recipe. Okay, there you go. So this is my rice bran oil. And I just go ahead and pour it into my second crock pot. All right. And then I take the lid off crock pot number three, put it on crock pot number two. And this is my last time measuring the rice bran oil for this specific recipe. And I just measure it out. There we go. And I pour it right here. This is the third crock pot. I have measured out my rice bran oil. And I leave this one without a lid. And what I'm gonna do, I'll take a pan and I will start checking each recipe. Checking that I have, that I have added my rice bran oil. Then I will move to my next ingredient, which is going to be my castor oil. And I will measure out my castor oil. And I will pour it in the last crock pot that I filled. And I, I just keep going. I just keep going on and on and do the same thing for, for each oil or butter that I add to my crock pots. So this is crock pot number three. I just poured the castor oil in crock pot number three. And I'm taking the lid from crock pot number two, move it to number three. Whenever there's a lid on it, that means I have already poured the ingredient in it. And I, I just move in this order. Now I'm gonna pour the casserole in crock pot number two. I'm just gonna pour the ingredient, which is my casserole. And I need five ounces for my recipe. And I'm just going to pour it in crock pot number two. All right. Crock pot number two has castor oil. I take lid from crock pot number one and cover crock pot number two. And I keep going, and this is my last time pouring out the castor oil. And for my recipe, I need five ounces. And there we go. And I pour out my five ounces of castor oil into my crock pot. 
and I do hot process soap so I use my crock pot up until the end of uh, the cooking process because I do not do cold process soap I do hot process soap I like the rustic look all right now I'm done with the casserole and I'm gonna move on to the next oil or the next butter and I keep going on up until I've used all my oils okay I hope that this little tip helped somebody and helped you in understanding how it is that I do the crock pot and the lid system Thank you very much. Have a good day.